Hi, I'm Red, and uh, this is Pirate Garage. Uh, today we're going to be talking about transmissions. Uh, I'm going to be putting together an all-wheel drive transmission for a K-Series. Uh, and right here we have a brand new limited slip differential for a K-Series all-wheel drive transmission manufactured by Wavetrack Differentials. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the differences. Uh, this one right here and these two are all K-Series. The one in the middle is the original differential from the all-wheel drive, and the one on the right is from a two-wheel drive. As you can see, they all basically look the same. But if you look a little bit closer, you will see some differences. Um, the main difference between um, the body of an aftermarket LSD for two- and four-wheel drive is this lip right here. Because what happens is it needs to index on the ring gear and the transfer gear. So you're going to need that if you want your transmission to last. Um, and then also too, if you flip this over, the, the biggest difference between the two and four wheel drive is the bolts that go into the ring gear and the transfer gear go from the back side of the differential. On the two wheel drive, the bolts bolt through the, through the ring gear into the differential. So that's a big difference. Otherwise, I mean, they basically fit in the same package. So. Um, that's a little bit of explanation for you guys, and uh, I'm going to be assembling this uh, transmission. Let's throw this transmission together. Here, Tim, I'm going to need a little bit of help. No, 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 here, wait, wait. wait. Let's do one at a time. Kind of tricky and also too keep in mind that these bolts are left hand thread so lefty tidy righty loosey Lucy? What? Yep. I got I got a Tim, thank you. Okay, I already checked all the clearances and everything is within spec, so it's ready to be assembled. Sometimes this differential can be a little, little tricky to put in, especially, uh, oh, there we go, especially using new bearings. And one thing too that I'm doing with this transmission, uh, the Honda CRV comes in a five speed. But what I did was, is I have a six-speed gear set from an Acura TSX. So, besides the obvious, this is a six-speed gear set, you also need to change the shift forks. Uh, two of them are actually different. You have the three-four shift fork, and then you have the five-six. Uh, the difference between the five-six is the reverse slider is separate. So, just put these together, and 
That are on the side? Yeah, right okay. there. Cool. Yeah, stop moving. Um, so? This is how I like to do it. Just grab everything. Drop it in. There we go. You have to put something on the transmission because the shaft protrudes. But other than that, looks like everything, everything is together. Play with a little bit, make sure the gears go in, everything's smooth. Yeah, another reason why these bolt holes are countersunk is if you can see right here, this bolt is very close to that first gear. It will get pulled up a little bit when the transmission is assembled, but there's almost no clearance there. So, you grab me the bolts. Let's go. Okay. Shift mechanism for reverse. Have me my ratchet tunnel. Yes, sir. with this casting mark it'll be easier for it to line it up once the transmission is assembled so looks like everything's in there time for some silicone this thing got a little messed up so gonna have to cut it that's right we use like a case of this every month yeah well <laughs> they they uh they're pretty inexpensive and i usually i usually get plenty of use out of one too so I'm not too worried about it. So I just gotta glue this thing together and that's about it. I did a lot of uh, preliminary work before making this video, so that's why this thing goes together so quickly. Normally it takes me a little bit more time, but- uh, Get the razor blade, cut off all the extra goop that was there before. and press all the gears, swap everything around, and uh, yeah. But everything is ready to go, so let's put this bad boy together. It only takes a couple minutes if you have everything ready. May I rotate it a little bit? Not yet. Okay. People can see what we're doing. Hopefully the six hopefully the six speed gear set holds up. Even with a two wheel drive, tend to break gears pretty easily on these transmissions. These K series motors have a lot of horsepower, so and I think, torque. I think we're ready. Ready to put that thing on? Yep. Looks like it. A second. Let's make sure everything's nice and clean. A lot easier to get to this stuff when the transmission is not in the car. Make sure you uh, clean the magnet also. Yeah, I did that beforehand. Might have some residue on there. Okay. So just kind of wiggle, wiggle this thing down on there. Be careful with the windage tray. You don't want to knock that over. Make sure that these shift forks are seated before you start tightening this down. Otherwise it'll be 
extremely difficult. And then just start putting all the bolts in their proper places so we can start cinching this thing down. There are a couple special brackets, but otherwise everything else pretty much has its place. seat it then you have the C clip for the counter shaft there we go nice double check the shifter everything seems to be seated so just start cinching everything down Tense, uh, which gives you positive engagement for the different gears. Looks like we're missing a couple. We'll find some more. why it wasn't working. It was stuck inside there. I don't know how that got in there. There we go. Make sure you don't make these too tight because they'll, uh, they'll deform. Looks like everything is in. The tranny spins nice and smooth. Next step, gotta glue on that shifter. Also too, in order to do a six speed conversion, you don't have to have this, the solenoid for the reverse lockout, but this piece right here is longer on a six speed. That is required. So really if you just change that piece, you could probably make it a six speed without any trouble. Well, at least for the shift assembly. trouble with gear engagement. Just a little piece. 
piece or the shifter. This is what that slot actually rides on to keep it from going too far in either direction. So this has to go in there too. It's a 10 millimeter. Okay, flip it around so you can see it. Well, I still need to seat that that ring. Usually, oh, I think it's seated. Nice. This, this right here, if you guys look, that clip has to be seated onto that bearing, and that's what keeps the counter shaft centered. And then, since that is on there, all I have to do is put this on. I forgot to pick up the socket though. It's actually a 14 millimeter Allen, so it's quite large. So just throw that on there. I'll tighten it later. And now we have a six speed all wheel drive Honda K series transmission what with the that? LSD. And then right here. goes the transfer case. If you remember, these two gears right here, you have the ring gear and the transfer gear. This gear corresponds with this. This goes in here. Just like that. And then we got four bolts. And then I got one more bolt for the reverse. And there you go. That's how you put together K-Series transmission, but this one is a little bit special, so we have a couple extra steps. Uh, watch the next video when we're gonna put this bad boy uh, in the Civic. Thanks for watching.